Hey you guys, so I've been asked a lot of why I don't do room tours. So I've made a video about this before, however things are starting to change on certain things. Um, my parents and I have been debating constantly about what I'm gonna do with my room. To begin with, my room currently is 6 by 12. That means 6 feet this way, 12 feet this way. That is not very, very big. Uh, for anybody that wants to know, I do have a small, very, very small bed. Um, I also have a corner desk computer that fits in a corner. Obviously, if it's a corner desk computer table. Um, I might be getting rid of my chalk wall. It depends on if I can find certain things. If I can, then the chalk wall is staying. If not, it's going. And my room will be completely redone. I'm actually getting rid of so much stuff in my room. It'll just give me more space. And that's exactly why um, I have currently not done a room tour. That and... I'm putting in hardwood floors, well the rest of them anyway, I've put in half of them. There's just a lot of behind the scenes that I've got going on. Um, we're actually redoing our family bathroom as well and we are excited because we've been waiting for so long to do this and my only request was I had a deep tub and that's all that mattered. That was like one of those wraparound type, you know, tubs, you know, that like, so that way you don't have, like, any tile. It's just, like, the fiberglass type tubs. And then it's, yeah. Anyway, moving on from that, um, I found this thing from Ikea. It's really, really cool. It's, like, an organizer type thing where all that it is is just, like, little squared, like, cubby holes. Well, anyway, you just put stuff in there and it just hooks on to either a wall or on the ground. And it's not very deep. It's, like, literally this wide and like this tall it's like a square pretty much you know obviously but it's something that I've wanted in my room and as long as they're small and I can fit clothes in there I can get rid of so much other stuff that I will have actually room to film and um, once I get some new stuff for your, uh, my YouTube channel I will be able to actually have a nice background, nice lighting, nice room, nice everything and you'll be seeing room tours to the point that people will get sick of it because I'm I'm personally kind of tired of hearing about when am I going to get a room tour uh, out to you guys and um, it's because I have a lot of stuff so when I say I actually do have a lot of personal stuff going on behind the scenes, I actually just told you what we're doing. So, now that everybody knows pretty much what my plan is, we'll see how far it gets us. Um, this set apparently from Ikea is like a hundred, hundred dollars, so it's not very much at all. And it's really, really compact, very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Eco-friendly. That's a good way to put it. It's eco-friendly and it's plastic. I'm just kidding. No, um, it should be... I don't know actually what it's made of. I, I do know that the cubby things are plastic, but I was thinking that it would just be really, really cool to have something like that. And I finally talked to my parents about it and they said okay, because my dad's built every single piece of furniture that's in my room right now. Like, my bed is actually, it was in the shape of a coffin, believe it or not. It was really weird. And it was just because of how things fit around in my room is of how it magically got that way. Uh, currently now we have it changed to be completely squared because we got rid of a, a lot of stuff. And he built me new things and um, he tore down other stuff to build other things. And now I've just got a square bed that has like a shoe cubby thing underneath of it. So... Now I just put my shoes under there so that way my cat doesn't get underneath the bed. Other than that... Oh, I did get a new bed. Like a, like a, um, a new bed set. So, I'm making changes. It's 
actually something quite different that nobody would expect me to get. It's pink, black, white, and gray with polka dots. Nobody would ever thought of me to get something like that. And I thought it was kind of cool. The one that I actually saw was more Victorian and Gothic, but then I looked at my room and I was like, oh, this would not go good in my room. So I just went with the one that would actually match my room. And since I do have white walls and I do have a gray wall, it just worked and it works with everything in my room. So, so far. But other than that, I might just get rid of the chalk wall or get rid of everything on it and just have a blank wall or get rid of the chalk wall completely and just go with more of a gray toned type paint than what it is now. So I might keep my red wall just because I like the red wall and it gives more dimension in my room and it makes it look a little bit bigger than what it is. That being said, you now know pretty much the size of my room and how small it is and why it's very hard for me to film anywhere and try to get something out of everything. So, that being said, I hope that you all have a great day. Feel free to check out all my social media at Missy Von Monroe and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any cool like tips and tricks of how to save more space and you think that it might in a six by 12 foot room, please do not ever hesitate to let me know because I feel like I can live in that TV show called like Tiny Nation People or something like that, Tiny House Nation or whatever. I could probably survive without a doubt. So I've been living like this for <laughs> 22 years. <laughs> and um, yeah. That's pretty much all I got. Alright you guys, see you guys later. Bye!